Hello, my name is Hala Wu. I'm an immigrant. I moved to the United States when I was 13. Identity to me, it means balance between two different cultures and to find who you really are. I started to really learn English when I was 13. And I always think about uh, what other people think about my accents and what other people think about the way how I do stuff and I was always afraid of other people would laugh at me because of the way I say things and the way I do things. I think it's really hard to find who you really are. Hardest part will be to not thinking about what other people think about you. Can you uh, introduce yourself? I'm Carla Thaberger and I'm the ESL teacher. What is ESL stand for? English is a second or other language. Um, identity, I think, means when they come to the United States, I think it means adjusting. And young people who come here from other countries, I find that they're really open to embracing parts of American identity while trying to keep uh, some of their native identity integrated. But I think it's a real process. It takes a long time to find out how to blend. New immigrants have an easier time with their identity because they still identify strongly with the culture they came from. I think it's a lot harder for kids that from immigrant families that are born in the U.S. because in a way they don't belong to their family's culture but they also don't really feel like they belong to U.S. culture. So that can get really complicated. I think when you're dealing with cultures different than traditional kind of American culture, I think it can be really difficult to accept and embrace the differences from the culture of their parents and where they come from and not be embarrassed by it. You know, different isn't always bad. You know, it's okay to have pride in your heritage and your culture. I think for newer immigrants, it's a great place for them to see that they're not alone. They, they're usually in a classroom with people that come from very different situations, but maybe different countries, and we all just kind of figure it out together. It becomes like a family. I think more than anything, just accept them for who they are. Accept the fact that they come from another culture, and it's okay to be interested about the culture, but also don't stereotype them based on what you think you know about their native culture.